dl points along the z-axis, so we can replace that with dz. The z gives us a direction, so we don't need the vector over it anymore. The magnitude of r hat here is 1. Uh, the r vector goes from our wire segment to the observation point, so that's r. This means that r, in this case, is square root of r squared plus z squared. There's r and z. Theta is the angle between the r vector and the direction that dl is pointing along the wire, so here is theta. This is all shown a little more clearly here. And we've filled in some of those values. Now we still have sine theta, uh, which we can find using SOHCAHTOA, opposite over hypotenuse, whatever your favorite way is for remembering that. So for sine theta, we can fill in r over square root of r squared plus z squared. So this is from the sine theta term. Then to get what's shown on the second line here, we can pull this r out of the integral because we're not integrating along r, and we can combine the two denominators. So then you get what's shown on the bottom here. And then we can perform a change of variable or put it into some software to solve it. I'm not going to focus on the details of solving this equation in this class, but you should feel comfortable setting it up and simplifying it a bit. So in the end, we get the magnetic field circulating around the wire is oriented in the phi hat direction, and it depends on the amount of current flowing and the radial distance from the wire, r. The magnetic field decays with distance from the wire as 1 over r. Uh, notice that 2 pi r is the circumference of a circle, meaning the magnetic field is spreading out radially along a circle at each z-coordinate for this infinitely long straight wire. Now I can show you a neat trick that allows you to work backwards from a known magnetic field to the amount of current that generated it. To see this, try integrating the magnetic field around this wire. It's infinitely long coming out of the screen, the current's coming out of the screen, and integrate it along an imaginary closed loop. So this is the magnetic field we expect around this wire. Integrate this magnetic field around a closed loop, meaning that you just have to find a way to get all the way around the wire and wind back, wind up right where you started. So we can write that out like this, h dot dl. This is what we want to do. And you can choose any shape you want for the integration for the closed loop. So choose the shape for the contour line that will make the math the easiest.